Christmas. So today we're going to do some really cute Christmas crafts and these are just so adorable. You could probably put them anywhere in your house and people will be like, oh my gosh, where did you get that? And then you'll be like, I made it. So this is the supplies you need. Feathers. Foam craft balls, two inches. Glitter, this thing. Vital. <laughs> Toothpicks, glue, and a sparkle sharpie. Let's get started. So first you're gonna take the first one and a Q-tip stab them together. First step, that's the body of the snowman. He doesn't have a head, it's kinda Kind of like our Santa. See? <sighs> Body and head. You could be just making a cute Santa doll. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to our next step. So, you gotta take a nice candle. If it's burnt, then you gotta shove some toilet paper in it. And then these may look pink and yellow and green. They're really red and green and silver. You're gonna shove those in there to make it look nice and festive. And remember, you are not lighting this candle where your decoration is in it. Definitely not. We had this problem earlier. Then you're gonna put your little snowman in there. Cute AF. See. Now, you're gonna take your glue. Nice Elmer's glue. Work All great. purpose. For everything. I sometimes like to just glue things make sure it works I can. snap <laughs> you're gonna put it in this hole that you made <laughs> at the top and we forgot fill to mention up. earlier that you were supposed to make a hole in the top yeah fill it up because you're gonna take your little hat thing or jiggy whatever this is you're gonna stick it in there but don't do that yet because now you need the feathers only use green maybe red but green's gonna look beautiful -er. Anything that looks like Christmas, use it. Definitely. Throw some silver sparkles in there. That look good too. It looks great. We actually have some glitter that we are going to throw on this beautiful creation later. Yes. See, and this can be a scarf or it can be part of the hat. Depends on what you want this thing to be. There you go. Now you're gonna shove this at the center. Right like that. Beautiful. Looks gorgeous. This is a unique Christmas decoration that no one else will have except for us because we made it. And it's not finished. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next step which is drawing on some cute little eyeballs. So you're gonna take your silver sharpie and you're just gonna do some circles on there. In this case, we're making that the hat. This is the hair. So, just do your eyeballs. Looks gorgeous. Perfect. So, now I'm going to do the mouth as well. But we're going to save the nose because we have some special things in mind for that. Beautiful. So, what we're going to do for the nose is we're actually going to take this yellow feather and we're going to shove it in the nose area. But, <coughs> we gotta make it a little bit shorter. <coughs> so you're gonna take some scissors and you're gonna cut it about right there. Shove it in the nose. If you need to poke a hole in it, you're gonna take this Q-tip or whatever they are, toothpicks, make a nice little hole for it. You're gonna shove it in. Since we don't have scissors, we're not gonna show you what well, it looks like short. <laughs> We're just gonna assume you're smart enough <laughs> to know how to do it yourself. You might need a pretty deep hole. Especially if you're like us and you are unable to clip the feather down to size. <laughs> that is looking gorgeous. Perfect. So you can still see the mouth. Now Perfect. we'll add glitter somewhere. Okay, so we're gonna show you that next. So now we're getting ready to move on to our next step. So we're going to create a cute, I mean cute, little scarf for this fellow. You can glue it if these feathers aren't the right kind. 
to shove into his neck, but ours might work. But we're gonna add some glue just in case. And so since it's kind of like that, we're just gonna like let the glue fall in there. Looks beautiful. And then maybe smear it around a little right here. And then you're just gonna shove the feather on there. Make sure it's in the right spot because this is a scarf. This is so cute. I made one of these last Christmas and my family members, they all wanted one. So I'm making these in mass quantities right now so that I can give them to my family because she they love really them is. so much. What did your family think of them? They wanted some too. I know that everyone I know pretty much wants these. Cause yeah. they are what is going on right now. They sure are. Next, we need some buttons, but instead of buttons, because buttons are kind of big and clumpy for our two inch diameter <laughs> foam balls. We're just going to stick on a little purple feather because purple's a great color. And now he looks so colorful and so festive he at looks the same great. time. Now, here's the most crucial point. Glitter. So we're just going to open up the glitter and if you, you want to pay attention to what the opening on your glitter looks like. Because this will be nice because we can sprinkle it. But sometimes they're just open and you'll get glitter everywhere. And it won't look good that way. But this is the tricky part. So you're going to take your glue, stick it upside down. And you're just going to like, you're going to get messy with this. Just going to kind of drizzle it all over the place. Kind of like you're making some sort of food. Maybe gets on your fingers a little. It's okay. And then you're just going to start sprinkling and make sure to put a paper underneath you so you don't make a huge mess. And wash your hands when you're done. Unless you like having sticky glitter hands. Which yes. each to their own, you know. See right there? If you don't touch that, that might stay on and it'll form a nice, cool, little snowflakey ball. I think we need some more on the back. Oh, there's some... Make sure that you color cover all of your glue spots. That's good. So that they don't just dry and look like someone blew a now, snot on your you're Christmas decor. Now, just gonna decor. stick it in there. This and is so cute. Where did you get this? 